Hi, everyone. John here at PT. Dan with San Latrine. How are we doing? Great. It's Dan Hudock, by the way. I know you Dan. were stuttering there. Yeah. I thought it was Hudock. Hudock. Yeah, there Hudock. you go. There we go. Yeah. So let's talk about content. So this is an example of content. We do one of these a day, a couple, three minutes long. We hear a lot of people that are struggling, though, to develop content. And articles or blog posts or videos, various kinds of things. They, they just don't know where to start or how to go through it. One of the things I heard the other day is somebody said, you've got your content. Just think about the questions you get asked by your prospects and your clients. And your content is the answer to those questions, in essence. Talk a little bit about content, how people get started and really that marketing and blending of sales when it comes to content side. It can be tough to get going though. Well, first you have to decide you want to do it. Yeah, <laughs> Look, for those of you that have customers, just ask them, yeah. hey, other than my bubbling personality <laughs> and incredible good looks, why did you decide to use my company? What were you hoping that I could solve for you? What issues or problems or concerns did you have? Boom, there's your content. Yep. yep. There it is. And, and so when we look at marketing, we've got to be careful here. Now, I, I will tell you, asterisk here, I'm not a marketing guru sales guru, not a marketing <laughs> guru. But here's what I've noticed. A lot of marketing's fluff. A lot of it is very scattered. A lot of it is not targeting the ideal customer. And a lot of it is explaining all solutions and all these great things we can do for you. The really effective marketing is ones that start to develop pain. It's yeah. getting people to bleed a little bit, so to speak. And, and then there's some sort of a follow-up or call to action. And, and so how do we find this? Ask talk, look, look at people that you're working with. It's the easiest thing to try to figure out and then just start doing it. Sure. Sure. Well, and, and I will say like when we started doing content, I think, gosh, 10, 11 years ago now, we, we were that we were talking about ourselves too much. It was a little rough around the edges and it'll, it'll smooth out as you get better at it. But the other thing you said in there that really is really interesting when you ask your clients, those kinds of questions, it can also lead you to referrals. Because now they start to understand how you're helping them in a different kind of way. And it's an opportunity to ask if they know other people like them that you could help them with those problems. So all these things are interrelating and tying together. Man, that was bonus content, John. See that? There Fantastic. Don't charge for that. Just give no, it over free. No. All right. You get tomorrow for more. Take care. <laughs> See you later.